So initially, we got the AeroSky quadcopter up and running with this uh, multi wee board, and everything everything flew relatively well for a first try. You know, I took you through the firmware load, configuration, and then uh, settings to get it in the air. But after talking with Soldier 53 Flyer, who is actually donating this quad to an auction uh, in his hometown, we decided to go ahead and upgrade to the KK2 board. So uh, that's what I want to walk you through. But before I do that, I actually want to put together just a quick video that shows you how to upgrade your KK board from uh, firmware version 1.2 to 1.5. So I just loaded or turned this guy on and noticed that it was running 1.2. So uh, this video will show you how to upgrade to 1.5 and then I'll post a follow-up that shows the uh, configuration. And to do the firmware upgrade we need this a USB dongle or programmer that you can get uh, when you buy your KK2 board from Hobby King. I recommend even if you're not thinking about it, about doing a firmware upgrade, these things are cheap enough uh, that you should go ahead and get one with your order. So we'll demonstrate uh, plugging this in, connecting everything, uh, getting the uh, KK Multicopter flash tool firmware, and then uh, loading it onto the KK board. Okay, for starters, you're going to want to uh, use this guide on the Hobby King site. It's actually in the files section for the KK board. It's kind of tough to find because there's a lot of files, but uh, I'll talk you through uh, the setup and I'll post these links in the video description for you to access. So you'll start with you know, going through this guide and then it's going to reference you to the actual uh, KK flash tool. And since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to download uh, this version right here, install it, and then run it. And let me go ahead and point out a side note. I'm actually running Mountain Lion, a version of Mac OS, and when you try to run the the Multicopter Flash tool, you'll see this uh, error message, and it'll basically tell you to eject the disk image. So what you actually need to do is you need to go into your settings, and basically allow click to uh, uh, have administrative access to your machine and then you're going to allow applications uh, to run from anywhere and you can do this temporarily or permanently it's really your call so change that now when I run the tool uh, I should be able to get it to load okay so now we have the flash tool loaded and let's walk through the setup. Now if you have the Hobby King version of the uh, programming tool, it's gonna, you're going to set this to USB ASP. We're going to be on the USB port and we are, for firmware types we're going to select KK 2.0 and we're going to go uh, with this first option. So KK 2.0 version uh, 1.5. Okay, now we'll go ahead and connect our programmer. So you see the end connector, and we'll actually have it so that the ribbon cable is pointed uh, towards the inside of the board, like this. Okay connection is made. Now on the other end we'll go ahead and plug that into either your, your PC or your Mac. Okay, we're plugged in. See our board is now powered up. Okay, now that we have our settings in place and we have our uh, board connected with the programmer, I'm going to go ahead and click this green icon that says flash the selected firmware from the internet. So here we go. And if you look at the settings here, you can see uh, that the flashing of the firmware was successful. And now you can see that we're in gyro calibration mode. Let me just go ahead and click back. 
and we're flashed to 1.5. Okay, so what I'll do next is I'll disconnect the programmer uh, from the from my Mac as well as the KK board. Then we'll give our light. We'll connect our LiPo and just make sure that we see uh, version 1.5 of the firmware on the load screen. You have version 1.5. So that was really straightforward. Um, if you obviously if you have the right tools, and I've done quite a few upgrades, including the NASA and APM 2.0. 0.5 and this is right up there with it with them from a simplicity perspective and also given that you know the sport is so cheap uh, comparably to the others so um, anyway we'll be able to now proceed with configuration of the board and uh, get this aerosky quadcopter in the air so I hope this was useful and please let me know if you have any questions and post comments below and thanks for watching